so then you can see this if you would like me to. But I, there's literally nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do. I cannot get into the uh, the Virus Pro game. I do apologise so much, guys. Uh, but that's just the way it is. Uh, I haven't got the IP for that. Unless Kainite can try and get it for me. And uh, there's nothing I can do. So a lot of people saying no. Still a lot of people saying yes as well. And I know I want to do Nip. I want to do Very Games. Sorry, not Very Games. Virtus Pro. I don't know why I said Very Games there. I was thinking VG, not VP. Hashtag Game true. So do we want to do this one? Tell you what. Let's do it. If you want to stay, let's do it. I do apologise. Yeah, Kainite's happy. Kainite, if you can try and get me the uh, the IP for uh, Virtus Pro versus Titan, that would be great if you could do that. I'm going to DM you now, but if not, we're going to stay with Hellraisers versus Online Bots. So I'm just going to DM you now and let you know. Can you get me IP for VP versus Titan? And then everybody will be happy. Oh my gosh, I'm not even typing right. I'm shaking right now after that last game, guys. Can you believe it? So, anyway, let's head into this game. We're going to be casting Hellraisers versus Online Bots here on the map Inferno. It looks like Online Bots have actually had a very, very, very good start. Kainite's just laughing. Kainite, please check your DMs so we can see if I can try and uh, cast Virtus Pro versus Titan, which I believe is having on now. Uh, yeah, can I, why can you not be home to cast this ban? It would be a pleasure casting with you, indeed. So here we go. Online bots versus Hellraisers. Online bots with the gun advantage right now. They've got the round advantage as well. 3-1 is your score. Hellraisers pushed down to Eco at the second, although Doshia has actually got an M4 in his hand. So you would expect... Uh, the, the Hellraiser squad to win this game, uh, well, a lot of people would anyway, but you never quite know. It's actually a 4-on-4 four four situation in the second. Kutcher does take down Shetty, I think that's how you pronounce his name, I do apologise. Angel gets another one though, is this going about to be a good comeback here from Hellraisers? It looks like it could be indeed, as Kutcher gets the two-man spray. Dodds is going to be the last one left alive, he's in pit in a 1 versus 4 and what looked pretty bleak already for Hellraisers has already been turned round in their favour. Oh wow, he just finally goes down there. Angel picks up another kill. Angel played very, very well indeed there with that pistol. And I tell you what, my voice is going. My voice is going. I'm sweating. It's boiling hot. I'm not quite sure how I'm doing this. But we're still going. We are still going. So, kind of like, if you can try and get me that IP, that would be great. But no worries if not. So. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm boiling hot right now. It's just crazy. 2-3 is your score. Hellraisers versus Online Bots. Online Bots forced down to an eco. And it's going to be a tricky situation for them to try and take this. Hellraisers did take an eco a second ago. Now they're going to be able to counteract that. We're about to find out. Doesn't look like it's going to happen though so far from what we can see. Chetty and is that Fetch or Fetched? I'm not even sure how you pronounce that because I don't know these guys too well. Are going to be the last to left alive. Markov's going to finish off one though. It's a one versus five situation. Thank you, Banks. I do appreciate that. Banks, why do you not have mod, my man? Banks should have mods. He probably do. He maybe just joined or something like that first time. Is your voice gone? And <laughs> yeah, that's it. That is odds ninety three. Voice goes and temperature always rises. My temperature is boiling in the room that I'm in right now, and. Uh, I am studying voice, which means that my voice work should be fine and I should be warmed up and everything, but not the case, just because that last game was so excited. But here we go, into round number seven. It's 3-3. Three, three. Hellraisers versus online bots. I'm going to have to update the scoreboard, aren't I? So I do apologise about this, guys. Tell you what, I'll do it after the end of the next round. I'm going to have to update it, because at the minute I haven't updated the stream graph. Well, I haven't updated the stream saying that it's Hellraisers versus online bots. So as soon as this round ends, which should be in a second, I will do that for you. But I do apologise about this. So Nuga is going to be the last one left alive in a 1 versus 3 against Doshia, Kutcher and Angel. And Hellraisers are looking good here. They were 3-1 down when we joined the game. Joining late, of course, after that epic match between Wizards and Virtus Pro. Which Wizards managed to take 16-10. Uh, and uh, Hellraisers are still looking good. So it looks like not much is going to be happening at the second. Final player is going to go down. There we go. And just very, very quickly indeed. I do apologise about the screen. 
Ladies and gentlemen, but just give me two seconds. I'm going to try and update things for you. Uh, I do apologize about this. There's nothing I can do, and I can't even see it. Oh, I'm just going to have to do it. Uh, I do apologize about this. There we go. I'm just going to keep it at that for now. Let's get back on board with the game. So, another eco coming in for online bots. Just managed to join the game as all four of them do go down apart from... Is that Fetish or is that Fetish? I can't even pronounce that name. I don't even know. But they go down again. So I'm going to have to put it on the pause screen once again. Just while I update the stream graphics for you guys. And then we should be good to go. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. So it's Hellraisers versus Online Bots. Oh my gosh. I'm absolutely sweltering right now. I'm not too sure what's going on. But we're all good to go. Hope you guys are enjoying this so much. Thank you so much for tuning in here to Kai Knight's channel. My name is Chewy. Online bots have been able to buy here. So they have got AK-47s. Let's see if they can start to come back into this game. Hellraisers have taken, I believe, four rounds on the trot. Which is very good indeed. And uh, let's see what's going to happen in this nice round here on Inferno. Shetty does come in and take down Kutcher. That's a big kill to start things off. Opening kill of the round. So four versus five in favor of online bots. First time we've seen that in quite a while. Is Adren going to be able to answer back? No, he's not. Nugger takes him down. Angel answers back. They're taking down Shetty. Markolov answers back once again. Now it's a three versus three. Pretty even situations. Dodds tries to get shots into that player. He's going to be able to take him down with the spray. Markolov getting shut down. And am I smoking? Am I smoking? No, I'm not. And I'm very sorry, guys, that we can't see uh, Virtus Pro versus Titans. I wish we could, but I haven't got the IP link for that. So there's absolutely nothing I can do. So I'm going to be bringing you Hellraisers versus Online Bot. I hope that's fine with you guys. There's nothing I can do about it. I was only supposed to be commentating two games, uh, but I thought I'd be nice because there were so many people in the chat, and I thought I'd cast a third one. So Doshi is going to be able to get down Nugger there. Fetched. Is that, that finish? I'm not even sure. Please somebody tell me in the chat or just message me or something. He's going to be able to take down Doshia. It's going to be Angel last one left alive. He does get cleaned up though. Online bots with their first round in four. 5-4 is your score though. Very, very close between these two teams from what I can see. And we're going to have a look and see what the buy situation is right now. Because Hellraiser's managed to take four rounds in a row as we said. They are all going to be able to buy M4A1s. No orps coming into play though. By the looks of things. And let's see what happens here. Into the 10th round. 5-4 is your score. As you do see at the top. I do apologise if I sound like I'm flagging. Faden. Okay. Faden. Thank you so much. I do appreciate that, guys. Because otherwise I would have completely got that wrong. And I would have been in real trouble. Uh, or, have I got, or are you guys trolling me? I hope you guys aren't trolling me. Because that would not be good whatsoever. But Kutcher is going to be the first casualty here. Let's head back in board with the action. Let's not worry about that for now. See what's going to be happening. Bomb is making its way up mid by the looks of things. They have got control of apartments from what I can see right now. But they are starting to make their way towards Banana as well. So they're playing this slowly. Kind of what you would expect on the t of Inferno here. But are they going to play it too slow? We've seen it time and time again. Helix is going to try and get a pick here. He's going to find a player there. That's going to be Angel going down. That's going to lead them to be able to get control of this A site. But Shetty kills his own player and Doshia takes him out. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. What happened there? He just sprayed into the back of his own player. Took him out. And then Doshia just went, I'm going to take you out as well. And Doshia in pit. He's shutting them all down. Markalov gets the final kill. 6-4 it's going to be. And what looked like a potentially strong round for online bots. Suddenly... Completely turned in favour of Hellraisers. Dasha in pit. Shut them down. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. See what's going on, going on sorry, overall. Markov sitting at 11-7 and seven after the first 10 rounds. Kutcher. Orp in hand. Man you would expect with an Orp. He's going to take down him. First player. That's going to be one down. Fourth back onto Aniko again. Or online bots. Angel's going to pick up one. Angel's going to pick up two. Adren does go down there to Helix. It is a 4 on 2 as we stand. Check your message to me. I gave you the IP for Nip versus Navi. Is that on now? Or not? Because I don't really want to leave this game. 
Uh, I feel bad if I kind of join the game for a bit and then uh, and then join another one. I would feel bad with that. It's going to be 7-4 though to online bots. Guys, can you let me know? Would you rather me stay with Hellraisers versus online bots or would you rather me go for Nip versus Navi? And I need to try and work out how to give Cam Sudos mod. I don't have permission to do that, but I will make sure. I do have your name, Cam Sudos, so I will make sure that Kai Knight will, does give you mod. I promise you he will do that. So, um... Do you guys want me to stick with Hellraisers for online bots? Because, I mean, like, we are 12 rounds in now. And it would be good to finish it off. And hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Or would you rather me go to Nip versus Navi if I do have the right IP address? Please let me know. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stick with this one just because we're halfway through it. Yeah, we're going to stay. Thank you. I'm going to stay. So, there we go. Here we go. Into the 12th round. I'm not going to worry about anything else anymore. We're gonna, just going to cast the game. I'm not going to worry about the chat too much. Thank you for all 750 of you tuning in there. I hope you are enjoying this evening's action. Kutcher the first casualty, as is Helix as well, meaning it's a 4 on 4 situation. Another slow round coming in from the T side of online bots. Bomb right back at the second down towards T spawn. They're going to be making their way in towards. Oh, Markalov just shuts them down, trying to move in towards A. Markalov again with Zorp. Is he going to be able to pick up the second? Yes, he is. That's two. Is he going to get that hat trick? We're about to find out through the flash grenade. He takes him down. Hat trick for Markalov. One player left for online bots and Hellraisers. They were 3-1 down. Now they're 7-4 at Markalov with a quad. I'm not sure if he picked up the fifth player as well, but he at least got a quad. And that is why you want to be so careful about Markalov. And Kutcher as well, actually. When they've both got ops in their hands, I would not be wanting to face against them. They're not bots. Then I am. Okay. But why? So it's saying online bots on my screen. But uh, they may or may Okay, so we'll call them that in a second. And we'll, uh, we'll sort it out. We'll get going, guys. I do apologize. This was rushed. I wasn't supposed to be bringing you this game. Uh, but um, last minute, I kind of decided to because I was enjoying casting so much. Crutcher's going to get two, though. Taking down Nugger and taking down Dodds as well. And you say they're not called online bots, but it's still in their actual like clan tag. So, yeah. I'm still going to call them that. And thank you very much, Kenza, saying that I'm a nice caster. I do appreciate that, my friend. And uh, no, unfortunately, you can't sub here, but we are going to be working on it, guys. Do not worry. Do not worry. We are, we've got some big things in the work. Chetty's going to try and come around there. He's going to be able to get anybody. Oh, wow. Turns on Kutcher there. And then he gets taken down by Markalov with the CZ 7-5. 13th round is finished. Heading into the 14th round, the score is 9-4. Hellraisers continuing to extend their lead. And after online bots, I think, got that first initial three rounds... Since then, they've only been able to pick up one. And guys, I do believe if you are interested, you can donate. So although there's not a sub button, if you do feel nice, you can sub to Kyanite. Um, he's on a train somewhere at the second. So I'm sure if he came back and saw some uh, lovely donations in his account, he would really appreciate that. That And they will, of course, all go towards the, the stream and making sure that you can see Markalov knock some more people's heads off in apartments as he's just done there. Helix goes down as well. Chetty's going to answer back, taking down Kutcher. Oh my gosh! Managed to get that player. Now it's a three on two. Oh, Markalov, why do you do this to me? How? He's going to miss that shot though onto that player. He's going to be able to pick him up though. Last one going down in a few seconds, you would predict. He's on 29 HP. It's going to be Mugger. Markalov with at least a hat trick there, if not a quad. This guy's just going off. What's his score at the second? He's 22 and 7 after 14 rounds. Oh my gosh. And thank you, uh, unknown CKT, once again for your kind comment. But yeah, if you do want to, if you do want to subscribe, unfortunately can't subscribe right now. But uh, you are more than welcome to donate to Kyle, which he will appreciate, and all of that money. I promise you, every single penny, cent, dime, whatever you want to call it, will go towards bringing you the best Counter-Strike action we possibly can. Kutch is going to be the first casualty, though, here in the last round of the first half. Markalov, with his big green gun, is going to find a player coming up through a pump at any second, unless he's careful. Chetty down to 12 HP. He did pick up the first kill onto Kutch, as we saw earlier on. He's going to back away from everything at the second, though. Dodds also on 50 HP as it stands. Markalov still with that AWP. Three other M4A1s. It's going to be... Titan for his prayer was apparently 16-5. Yeah, that's that guy who's just trolling. I'm not quite sure. So, and thank you for joining us there. I think that's uh, Rob or somebody in the chat. Very green name, so I can't read it. 
Thank you for joining us indeed. So, still a 4 on 5 here in the last round of the first half. Very slow so far. You can see the bomb actually down towards Bonara at the second, but it looks like they're going to be starting to rotate that out. So, there's going to be two players from Hellraisers on A, two players on B at the second. Helix is going to get shut down, but Markalov with his AWP again, and Adren with his M4 taking them down. Man advantage in favour of no team, actually, by the looks of things. HP advantage in favour of Hellraisers as Shetty is only on 12 HP. The bomb has been planted, though. That's going to be good. Angel gets one, though. Are they going to be able to shut down quickly? Nugger answers back with the revenge kill. Adren with another one. Is he going to get the second? Yes, he does. All of the T-Squad getting shut down. And Hellraisers going into the halfway point. I've done my maths correct this time. Are going to be 11 for... I'm going to donate my used clothes, but not your hard-earned money. <laughs> well, everything is accepted by Kyanite, maybe. I'm not too sure, but Markalov, 23 and 8. What a phenomenal performance from them. Uh, my Twitch is Chewy94, so what we'll do is at the halfway point. So uh, I'll just post my Twitter for you guys. You can have a look there. And my Twitch is being posted as well, so you can have a look. And say hello to me, and you can also say hello to me on YouTube as well. But we'll talk about that a bit later on. So it's the halfway point here. Hellraisers up against online bots. Some people are saying it's mayhem, but uh, I'm just having a look on HLTV. Um, yeah, it is. So it is mayhem. Okay, I will give you that then. Um, but they're calling themselves online bots here. So I'm just going to call them online bots because otherwise I'm probably going to make a mistake. Uh, and I'm probably going to make, uh, um, I'm probably going to do something bad. Save us and cast Titan VP after this. Nobody's casting in English. Um, I'm going to say this isn't kind of casting majors. My name is Chewy, as I've just said many, many times before, but wow, look at great picking to Kutcher there, taking him down and Dodds is going to get another one. This is good. For the CT side of online bots, they're already taking them down with relative ease from what I can see. Dosh is going to be making his way to apartments, gets a headshot into him. And the only person to take any damage is Nugger down to 85. From what I can see, and one other player from online bots. But that was very, very quick indeed. They hardly took anything there. And Hellraiser's just... I'm not quite sure what happened there. But 11-5 it's going to be, which means, of course, that Hellraiser's aren't going to be able to buy here in the 17th round. So let's see how this next one starts off. And I know that online bots is mayhem. It's online bots, they quit Mayhem, so uh, I'm just going to call them online bots. I'm just going to stay with that, guys. I do appreciate that you guys know them as Mayhem, but it's what's on my screen. I'm not going to muck about with anything, so that's what I'm going to call them. So, let's go into the next round. It's round number 17, 11, 5 is your score. Hellraisers, of course, down to pistols, because they did lose that first uh, pistol round there. They are coming here. And let's see what can happen. P90's coming in there. Player is going to be able to get two. Is he going to be able to get the hat trick? Yes, that is Faden. If that is pronounced correctly, I do apologise if it's not. He does get his hat trick with his P90 in hand. That gun just absolutely rips everybody. Markov has been able to pick up an M4A4, and he has got the bomb as well. But he's not really going to be able to do much with it. And if you have a look at the map, they're completely split up from each other, so not really much going on whatsoever. Markov is a man on your screen. I know, odds. I know. I've said my name a lot, but it's because I'm I'm on somebody else's channel. So, uh, I do apologise that uh, I am saying my name a lot. I will not mention it again. But the only reason why I'm saying it a lot is because people come onto Kyanite's channel and expect to hear Kyanite. So, if they don't hear Kyanite, then they're probably wondering who it is. And uh, the viewers are fluctuating around the place. So, I just want to make sure that everybody knows. So, I do apologise for that. So, 11 6 it is. Online bots were able to take that round as you would expect against Hellraisers and once again Hellraisers not able to buy hit so they've lost the first two rounds of the second half let's see if they're going to be able to take an eco round here or whether they're just going to have to wait to buy up you would expect that to happen they've actually forgotten the bomb so Adren's had to go back right towards T-Spawn and pick it up they're making their way towards apartments with the bomb lagging behind them Dodds is just happy to sit back here on B at the second. Auto director will take us over to the action going on at A. Angel's going to get taken down to 64 HP right off the start with a grenade coming and meeting him in the chest. <laughs> Pretty much a riot, yeah. That's good. Helix picks up two though, taking out Doshi and Kutcher. Shetty and Nuga get another one as well. Adren answers back 
But he's going to be the last one left alive in a one versus four situation by the looks of things. Should get taken down any second. There we go. Dodds cleans him up. Hellraiser's 11. Online bot 7. Round number 19 is coming up. And for the first round in the second half, Hellraisers are able to buy. So this is going to be big for them. Me and Kainite talk about this a lot. About how crucial it is. If you, uh, if you do lose your pistol round and you do have to only go with pistols for the first three rounds of a half... And you should really be aiming to take the fourth round once you're able to get that by. You want me to cast a fourth one? You want me to cast first pro versus titan? Oh my god, you're trying to kill me. You, know, you guys are trying to kill me. You're literally trying to destroy me. I will see what I can do. I will see what I can do for you guys. I will try and do my best, but I haven't got the IP. So uh, if it's on next after this, I'll stay in this. Uh, I'll stay in this um, IP and see if I can get into it, and then I will cast it if so. But if not, I do apologise. Nothing I can do about that. So, having a look at the situation, it's Angel and Markolov going up against four players. Dodds has been the only casualty for online bots. And Hellraisers are not having a very good T uh, side whatsoever. They were 11 4 up at the halfway mark. And since then, online bots have just come back into this game. They've taken three on the trot, should be four on the trot. But Kamsudos has already sent me the IP. Wow. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. I'll have a look in my messages in a second. I'll try and join it. We're going to stick with this game and finish it off though. I'm not going to leave this game because it's very unfair to leave this game. Yeah. I know that somebody sent me the IP. Is that game going on now? Can somebody let me know? Because I'm not on HLTV so I haven't had a look. Is a VP versus Titan on now? Because if it is and you guys want me to go and join it, then I will leave this one and go and join it. But I don't really like leaving games halfway through. And kind of leaving them on a cliffhanger. Hellraisers are going to get cleaned up once again. No Helix. And Faden, if that's the way you pronounce it. Are going to be left alive here. The Diffuse is going to come in as well. It's going to be 11-8. Only a couple of rounds difference. Three rounds is going to be the difference. It's live. Okay. And then somebody's saying, no, it's not live. It's live, but it's still in warmer. Okay, guys. I'm going to ask you, we're in round 20 of 30 here, would you like me, there's going to be three options, would you like me to continue casting this game and just keep going with that, nothing else, would you like me to straight away now head over to VP versus Titan, or would you like me to finish off this one and then go VP Titan, which would you like, stay, 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 we are staying, okay we're going to stay, that's fine. I'll cast it. I may cast it after. I'll see. If there's a lot of people wanting me to cast it afterwards, I'll see. But I'm going to stop worrying about that, guys, now. Because I've not really done much casting of this game. Which is a shame. Because I want you guys to be enjoying all of the action. So we're going to be continuing casting here. And we may switch later on. So 11-8 is your score. Heading into the 20th round. We are two-thirds of the way through this match here on Inferno. Between Hellraisers and Online Bots. Both teams able to buy once again. Although it's not the best of situations for Hellraisers. Because they hardly have any... Grenades left. Kutcher is left with a smoke grenade and Angel does have a frag grenade in his arsenal. But apart from that, that's going to be it. This looks like this could go right down to the wire between these two squads. And if this does go down to round number 30, I think my voice is going to give up, die, keel over the lot. Which could be quite funny. So, here we go. They're making their move in towards B. Come on, order director. Why are you taking us over towards the A bomb site? That's not where we want. Nugger's going to try and rotate through. Adren's going to be able to get the first kill onto Dodds. They're going to start to answer back here, though. Online bots. It's going to be a 3 versus 3 situation. Shetty, Nugget, and Helix against Doshia, Kutcher, and Angel. 12 seconds left on the clock. And with not much time left to go. The bomb has gone down. Nugget's going to answer back, though. He does eventually get taken down. Kutcher's left on 13 HP, so he's got to do something quick. Helix is going to find him. It's all up to Doshia. He's in banana at the second. It looks like Shetty's going to try and go for the defuse once he knows that this site is clear. They don't know where he is. This is great from Doshio if he can try and do this. He's going to get a smoke grenade down there. Lovely play from Shetty. He's going to be able to do this. Helix is going to shut him up. And Hellraisers once again not able to push through. And even, well, when they are able to push through, they just can't finish it off. They have not won a single round here. On the T side, and online bots are really giving us a good game. Taking nothing away from Hellraisers. They had a great CT side, taking it 11-4. But since then, online bots have been on fire. Taking five rounds in a row on the CT side. They took the pistol, obviously the two Ecos. They fought Hellraisers on top after that, and then they've taken two since. So, 
nine is your score. Twenty one thrones on the board, and let's see what's going to happen. Still no picture. Nobody taking any damage whatsoever. It's a relatively slow round, but the bomb is going to be heading down towards the Rana. I do apologise if I have any uh, pauses in my speech whatsoever and stuff, but uh, you can imagine what it's like talking constantly for like three hours. And we're still going to be going for a lot longer, but I do not care. It's a great game. Or great games that we've had so far, if you are just joining us this evening. So, Dodd's doing some defensive work here. On the B-bomb site, he's got a Dren just around the corner. The flash grenades and everything are going to be going in. This is do or die in some respects for Hellraisers. They need to get around on the board to give them that mental factor, to give them the momentum to try and push through. But Dodds is going to shut them down. Angel's going to be able to apply. Taken out, Dodds, though. There's going to be a player in the pond. He's going to go swimming, though. You can see him floating about, and that's going to leave the B-bomb site open for one single player. There's going to be Dossier over towards Ado. He's got to rotate back through Banana. This player, Markov, has got to stay alive. He doesn't. So they're going to try and get the smoke grenade down. Go for the diffuse as well. Dossier is nowhere near. They're going to spot him. And once again, it doesn't matter whether Hellraisers get themselves an open site onto B. Online bots just go, we do not care. We are so confident in our abilities to take over bomb sites that we're just going to shut you down anyway. And it's 11-10. One round difference between the two squads heading into round number 22. So, here we go. Let's see what's going to happen. What they're going to do this time. So they are, are able to buy, but Dodd's playing very aggressively. Interesting push there indeed. I'm sure Hellraisers weren't really expecting that to be happening. Kutcher is going to find a player. He's going to find two, though. Is he going to get the hat trick? Yes, he does indeed. He's down to 17 HP, but that's a big play by Kutcher. Markov finishes off Shetty as well. And that's the kind of play that Hellraisers need. Unless the final player for online bots can do something massive, which he can't. It's going to be Hellraiser's first round on the board on the second half here. 12-10 it is. Thank you so much for updating with scores, everybody, and letting us know what's going on elsewhere. We do appreciate that. And thank you so much there, Death Eater SF. I do appreciate your support and your nice words. Keeps me going. Removes any pain in my larynx right now with the kind words. So here we go. Both teams still able to buy up, of course, online bots only losing that last round in the entirety of the second half so far means that they are still able to buy more than comfortably. And a Dren Cutter and Angel have actually been knocked down by grenades, I do believe, originally. So they're still with AK 47s in hand. Let's see what they're going to do. Helix is going to try and find a player in towards apartments. He does get flashed. He's got a chicken down by his feet. Oh, that's going to really play a factor into anything, but he's happy to put just to back off here onto Balcony. Try and not challenge anything too silly. There's only going to be one player over towards there, though. It's going to be Dossier. The rest are starting to make their way in towards B. So, Auto Director thankfully does put us over towards Dodds, who's going to be looking from around CT area. It does take us back to Shetty, though, at the second, which is not what we want. So, let's have a look at Kutcher. Let's see what he's going to be able to do as he starts to push in. Flash grenades do go down. Let's see them start to push in here. Oh, wow, that was a great kill. Kutcher does go down. Not what they wanted, and Hellraisers are struggling so much. I'm getting here onto B. They have been able to take it, but not without damage. Come on, Auto Director, please put us on a player. Why are you doing this to me this evening? My gosh, Auto Director needs some fixing, I swear. I love it, but it does cause havoc sometimes. Adren is on 11 HP. It's a 3 versus 4 situation. Online bots have been so great taking this site so far. Are they going to be able to do it again? Markov is very close to seeing that player. He is going to see him. Now it's a three versus three. Man advantage in favour of nobody. Markov's going to spot another one. Gets the shot as well. Markov's going to go big. Is he going to be able to get the hat trick? Nugger goes down. Doshia finishes him off. Helix, the last one left alive though. He's in banana. And online bots, I said that they were looking so good at being able to take sites, especially B. And as soon as I say that, finally, Hellraiser's able to break through. Finally able to hold on. And that's going to up their score now. Three rounds is the difference. 13-10. And this is the thing. As soon as Hellraiser's managed to get just that first round on the board, on the T side, it's picked them right back up. And that's exactly what they needed. So, even though Shetty does have $5,000, they're going to eco it anyway. Helix has still got that M4, which he managed to keep from the last round. Shetty's bought himself a Deagle. But uh, that's going to be it. No armour apart from Helix, of course, again, as we said, he kept it from the last round. 
looks out to see what's going to happen. Cooks goes to first, but he's going to be able to get the second. They're all rushing towards Banana. They know that they're going to be on an eco, so they've got to get in here quick. Let's see if they can successfully take it. Angel in the drone with one. He's Doshio with another one. Helix is going to be the last one left alive. He's all the way over towards A. The bomb should go down. He's not going to challenge anything because he's got the M4, so he should be saving this, but he's actually in no condition. He's going to try and get some kills indeed, so he is going to challenge something. He's going to knock Doshio down. He does go down himself, though. Critcher takes him out. 14 10. Hellraisers with. Uh, three rounds on the trot, I do believe, actually. That should be. And into round number 25. Let's see how they're going to go. Right. Back into the game. I do apologise about the pauses. I'm like, I apologise about me apologising. I'm known for it in real life. I just apologise about everything constantly. Hashtag blame Chewy. Let's see it in chat again. Just for my uh, bad mistakes at saying sorry all the time. So into round number 25. We've got five rounds left of the game. Our Hellraiser is going to be able to close this one out. Or our online bot's going to be able to shut it out. And come back into this. They were looking really good. And they brought it within one round of each other. After being 11-4 down at the end of the first half. But since then Hellraiser has started to come back into this. Kutcher, although he gets knocked down to 12 HP. He's going to take down Helix. That's a big first pick. They've got control of A. It's going to be two players over towards B at the second. And it looks like they're starting to make their way back by the looks of things. So not going to rush in there too quickly. Taking it slowly on the T side here. Hellraiser's. Not going to do anything crazy. Markov's going to get another one to Shetty. That should lead them with a great advantage over towards A. But by the looks of things, you've still got two players going over towards B. Adren and I think it's also Kutcher over towards Banana as well. They're going to back away from that though. They committed to A. And this is when everything comes into play. Dodds has got to rotate. They know it's going to be coming in now. Player's going to be on the site. Looks like it's going to be planted. It should be indeed. Why, Autodirect? Are you taking us over to the other side of the map? My God. Gosh, what is going on? Let me try and jump on board with something new. There we go, Nugger. It is M4A4 Asimov. I love that thing. Best skin in the game, in my opinion. He's going to be back <coughs> over towards Pit in Graveyard, I believe that's cool. And uh, Fetz is, or Faden is going to be the last one left alive. There he's going to go for the defuse. Adren's going to spot him there. He's going to be able to get him. Oh my gosh! That was close. Very, very, very close indeed. 15. So 10, 26th round, Hellraisers look like they're going to be able to close this one out at the end of this round. Dodds has been fought down to a Nova shotgun, as has Helix as well. We've got two Famasses and an M4A4 in hand as well. Kutcher's got his AWP out, his big green gun. And we've got four AK-47s elsewhere. So, as you can see, as you said, 15-10 it is. Are they still in warm-up? Uh, what's going on with the other game, which I'm supposed to be casting? Is it still in warm-up? Oh my gosh, Helix is going to take out Doshio, though. That's a great start. That's what they need to try and build some momentum to come back into this game. Nova's obviously not the number one gun of choice, but if you can use it, and you can take out players in apartments like that, then by all means, go for it. Although I do still prefer the Swag 7, in my opinion. So Dodds is just going to try and slow them down with that smoke grenade before they come into B. Is it going to work, though? Throws a uh, Frag grenade down there as well. Hellraiser starting to push in towards B in big fashion. Dodds is going to get a Nova kill of his own though. And what looked like a great situation for Hellraisers is now a great situation for online bots. Is Nugger going to be able to spot them through here? Adren's going to try and cover. But wow. I thought this was going to be GG's at this point. Although online bots still did have weapons in hand. They did have two Novas. But those two Novas got crucial kills. One on apartments and one over towards Banana as well. Now it's going to be a drain. He gets shut down and Hellraisers once again fail to take B bombsite convincingly. They're still going to be able to buy. They want to shut this game out now. They do not want to have to wait. 15-11 is your score. And thank you, it's still in warm-up. Okay, which means that I should have time to go and connect to it. I will see. But I am absolutely shattered. So, we will see. I'm probably going to cover it though. Probably anyway. Right, so into number 27 in rounds. 15 11 it is. 5 AK 47s. 4 M4s for the CT squads. And then an AK 47, which Faden has been able to pick up. Bomb making its way through mid at the second note. Let's we'll see if they're going to be able to push in here. What they're going to do. Another typical setup. Another orthodox setup on the bomb sites. 3 on 8, 2 on B from online bots. 
Looks like it could be a bit more of a slower round. Hellraisers do not want to play anything too silly. Do not want to risk anything they've risked before. Trying to go in for B in the last round especially. And it's not worked. It is in auto director, yeah, thank you. Yeah, just put it in auto director and not talk that much. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a bad idea whatsoever. I'll probably end up doing that, but no, I will cast, of course. Yeah. I'm loving your heart this evening, so I'm going to keep going with it. And thank you so much for everybody tuning in. So still in round 27. We've only got 36 seconds left on the clock and still no casualties whatsoever. As soon as I say that, though, Luka's going to be able to get the first kill. Kutcher goes down as well. It's a three-on-three -three situation. Mark Lovin and Dren starting to answer back. Doshi's going to get another one. Now it looks like it could be going in favour of Hellraisers. Helix is going to find one. No, it's a two on two. He's going to get another one. Yes, Helix going massive in pit. Such a crucial position. And now it's going to be left up to Markalov. It's just going back and forth. They're going to get the final kill. They're going to get the defuse as well. And this could be going right down to the wire between these two squads. 15-12 it is. My gosh, what a game. Thank you, Zuki. Thank you for tuning in. My absolute pleasure to be casting for you guys this evening. And now it's going to get interesting, guys. Because have a look. Doshio, the only one with a weapon. He's got armor as well, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do much. We've got four pistols elsewhere. Looks like P250s and a CZ75 as well. And no, uh, there won't be overtime. Uh, it is Star Series, so there will not be overtime. If online bots can come back into this and take... Uh, Five rounds in a row, pretty much that will be uh, pretty much GG's. Helix is going to find a play there, he's taking out Marco. It's actually a three on three situation, and suddenly out of nowhere, Hellraisers are looking good. They've been able to pick up a gun as well. So Doshi did have one off the spawn. Adren's been able to pick up an AK 47. Yes, Kutcher has a P250, but Dodds and Faden, if that's the way you still pronounce it, my gosh, I need to learn that. I haven't been able to do much. Dodds is going to get spotted towards Pit as well. Actually, he's up in apartments at the second. He's going to put some shots down into that player. He's going to get knocked down to 20 HP. And Kush is going to be able to pick up one. And the other one comes in as well. Hellraisers having to eco apart from one player with an AK-47. Still able to shout it out. That shows their class. Markov finishing on 31 and 18. And that's going to be GG. 16 to 12 in favour of Hellraisers. So, guys...